Hi everybody, this is Joanne and you're in my lab and I'd like to speak to you today about the chemical composition of nail polish. This is, these are both by the same company. This is quick dry and this is long wearing and we'll look a little bit at the evaporative properties of these two. Um, so the quick dry properties of these two and then maybe I'll look at long wearing on another one uh, video. But I would like to um, talk to you a little bit about the composition. Nail polishes of course contain a lot of solvent so that all the other materials can mix in and of course then you have a liquid that can be spread very smoothly. So the main solvents are very, very flammable. One of them that you usually find on there is this called isopropanol and I just wanted to show you up close right here in the bottle picture of flames meaning it is quite flammable. So you do need to be careful when you uh, use nail polish about working around high heat or flames. And we're going to go ahead and set a few things on fire just to prove this is true. Nail polishes have colorants and they will often have things like fish scales or mica or titanium dioxide which can uh, give a reflective property which gives the, the sparkly appearance. Um, nail polishes also contain resins and plasticizers which will give flexibility and that long wearing uh, property that we like to see. I very seldom wear nail polish in the lab just because I have to wash my hands so much. I'm working so much with my hands that uh, the nail polish usually falls off, chips off a uh, much shorter uh, time than I'd like to see. So I often skip that. Right here I am holding a little piece of nitrous cellulose. And in my lab I use nitrous cellulose to immobilize proteins. So a little piece of protein gets stuck on there and I then probe it with other proteins. Um, a very common biological use. Um, this is also, if you ever look at a pregnancy test, uh, that little piece of paper uh, that you're look, waiting for your result on is actually this because there's a protein stuck on the pregnancy test for that. But what does this have to do with nail polish? Okay, so nail polish, this material is uh, cellulose fibers from a plant that's been soaked in sulfuric acid and then soaked again in nitric acid or potassium nitrate. There's some variations in how this is done. What happens is we end up with this explosive material. So not that we want our nail polish explosive, but it does have other great uses as in gun cotton. And also uh, you can use this as magician's flash paper. But for nail polish, we break this uh, type of material up into microscopic fibers and it makes a great film forming agent. And that just means that when it's mixed with everything else, when you apply it, when you put a drop down, it's going to spread out evenly in a very smooth film. And that's the kind of thing uh, you do want for nail polish. So we take advantage of that property. But then again, we've just added another element that's quite flammable. And just to prove it, we're going to set it on fire. And that's why I have my hair back because I like setting things on fire but not necessarily my hair. Okay, let's take a okay, look. Okay, so maybe you can see here I've got a flame going and this is an alcohol burner. It's filled with some of the very material that we use to uh, use as a solvent for nail polish so proof it's flammable. But um, what I'd like to do is to set this nitrocellulose on fire and you'll see it'll go up pretty quickly and make a quick uh, <laughs> actual flash. Hence the term flash paper. Here we go. Are you ready? And then there's not a single bit of residue left over. Now again, like I said, that's not the purpose of the nitrocellulose and nail polish, but it's good to see. So here I've got nail polish on a slide. This has been dried for a couple weeks already, so just to prove it's still quite flammable, we're going to hold it over a flame, nail polish on the top, and watch. It'll smoke, flame up, and burn out. All gone, if you can see that. Let's try it one more time with the um, quick dry. Again, nail polish on the top, it's going to smoke, melt, flame, woo! All right. So, and it's even worse when it's uh, fresh nail polish. Okay, let's go ahead on to the
Another property I'd like to share with you about nail polish is that it is a suspension product. And what this means is that the color pigments are suspended within the solvent and will eventually sort of sift out of the solvent. And this is why we shake the bottle so vigorously and we can hear that little ball shaking in there um, in order to mix those color pigments back up into solution. They're just a little bit too heavy for the solvent to continue to hold. Um, nail polish is really one of those modern 20th century inventions. It's uh, great that our knowledge of science is able to make a product uh, that is durable and long wearing and quick drying and has these beautiful colors and also it's safe because over the years there were products that were in use like formaldehyde and phthalates that um, we've been able to uh, replace with other products to give us still the kind of consistency we want from our cosmetics yet have them be non-carcinogenic or non-toxic. So it's great to know that scientific experimental methods are continually being employed in quality and safety control for our cosmetic products. So thank you very much for listening, and I hope you learned a little bit something uh, today about the products you wear from a scientific perspective. All right, thank you. Bye. Maybe.